play last year, so that's one face that we do recognise as we see Peter Crawford. Now Knight, Knight for Perth. Blue by three, back to Crawford. 10 seconds on the shot clock. 11 to place 14, first by three. Shot is up and doesn't fall. And Chincha on the board. It's rid of it neatly. On the run, away goes Aaron Bruce. And who's lost it? Here comes Knight. Knight, oh, too easy. Is there a punch? It might have been a bit crude. Might have been a bit crude. And Chincha goes across and offers his arms to Luke Kendall. And they're still pushing and shoving. And I'll tell you, he's not the happiest little Vegemite there, as Luke Kendall. Yes. Yes. It was, uh, it was definitely, Winatana made a very crude uh, foul as he charged at, uh, at Victor. As he was going to the basket, he was up in the air, and Winatana went straight at the body in, in a really reckless move. But then he was... Uh, apologetic immediately as Victor hit the ground and he bent over to pick him up and Perth, the other Perth players, particularly Luke Kendall, came at him uh, very aggressively um, and it, it finally level-headed players, or uh, teammates came and pulled them apart. 14 plays 11, we've got a three-point ball game and we've got Scott Ninnis at the 36th timeout. Other than our turnovers, we are in really good shape. to refer to the past but when Phil Smythe was coach he usually had about a minute and a half before Phil Smythe <laughs> walked from yes. having his chat with Steve Breedy well Scott Ninnis got right into the action 14 plays 11 Perth lead by three yes the rhythm changes a little That's bit doesn't right. it <laughs> but uh, some really good points made by Scott Ninnis so, that, um, he's 48 minutes he's asking for 48 minutes of aggression and what they've shown initially has been exemplary and, uh, but we've got to contain our turnovers. Adelaide is coming down. They're wanting to be aggressive offensively, offensively as well, but they just need to find that fine line of not going over and just getting the easy steals. It's a ball taken away from them. Now, Isaiah Victor has just shot two from the charity stripe after that foul earlier on, and responding, no, not quite. Jacob Holmes almost tipped in. Chichi goes after it, can't do so. Victor's got it again. He's got the skinniest legs that I have seen for quite a period of time. Patrick you can comment on that when we get some time. 16-11, he's got it again. Perth lead by five. Off to Knight. Over the top, Red Hay jump and not in. Almost jammed in, but Chinchy got a ball. For the 36ers. Over it goes. The interception by Red Hay, just Hill, who was out last year with a busted wing, almost dragged it down. Not quite. There's the shot that's up and misses from Victor. As we see the experienced Brad Davidson about to come on via Singapore and of course he was a player for the 36ers last year the Shincha swats it back out Red Hage a one on two play over the top cool as you like in for two that's Luke Kendall and it's 18-11 seven the difference and we now see David Cooper prepare to come on there's not much time as we see he'll move in for the 36ers he missed it flick back out to Bruce who takes it I'll get you in a second Pat I promise as Bruce Kendall over in for two the 36ers player from Aaron Bruce, who was right in the pockets of uh, every Perth player that he could find. Finally, uh, the offensive foul was called, and Adelaide wins the ball back again, courtesy of some outstanding... <laughs> Fires up for two points, and the margin back to three. Perth lead, 18-15. Three and a half to go before quarter time, at half time, Jack Carmerson. The boss, Red Hage, doing it all himself, getting foul, getting the two. He's got the eight points. I'll tell you who I did hear uh, on during the week, another media organisation, Darren Ng. 
course, uh, he went to Singapore. Yes. And they fell apart. He's still playing in in their team, but they're playing in another competition. So, gee, they spread themselves far and wide, don't they, the oh, basketballers? absolutely. And um, Sean Redhage is becoming a, well, has, from the beginning of this game, has been a consistent thorn. He's got a huge work rate uh, both, both at both ends, and he runs the floor very fast and uh, very aggressive offensively. Speaking of oh. offensive and aggressive, Brad Davidson just comes on. If there's any more pugnacious player in the NBL, I thought we were going to get bowled over, then we would. <laughs> well, I'll go here for Tiggy because he's really at the contest. And it's the Perth side who control the ball with Lout. Over to Crawford. Crawford bounces it back out to Victor. Victor nails it. That's two points to Isaiah Victor. He's got four. And it's an eight-point ball game. Signs. Uh, well, it's too early. Too early for Signs. But this is a very powerful start by Perth. They'll be up around the quarter of a century in the first quarter, which is a good start in any contest. Tyndale underneath. Cooper, one way or the other. In for two. <laughs> Points is just on. Margin is 6, 23, 17. First lead by that margin. And so Scott Ninnis indicated at the timeout that Adelaide's switching their defence. When they score a basket, they're playing man-to-man, -man, which is what they're doing now. A missed basket is that they revert to the zone. Crawford, Taylor, a victor, I should say. Now Red Hayde, sure he does that well. How's this? 11 first quarter points. You need to stomp on him because he is playing spectacular hoop as we see Shencher about to come on after a small respite and off the contest there looks to be is that Davidson who got whacked? Yes, holding his mouth I think he's, uh, he's actually a pretty tough character, he looks in a bit of trouble there. He might have got a little bit but the call was against the Perth Wildcat player and we can see some other scores in the National Basketball League the Tigers and the Crocs are 29 each at quarter time and the Dragons lead the Taipans at quarter time 22-16 in the WNBL, midway through the second quarter. Christy Harrow was back with Bendigo, and they lead Perth 31-22. We don't know whether Deanna Smith's playing again because she was injured in the A-League. It's Sydney 1 leading Melbourne nil at half-time. And for those who missed it last night, one of the most remarkable scores that I have ever seen in women's basketball, Townsville, 96 defeated Sydney 57 by 39 points. Cameron Dalton coaches Sydney with two US imports. They were beaten by 39 points. And when I told Jan Sterling today, she fell over. <laughs> that is just, I, yeah. can't, I just can't comprehend what happened. I have to try and find out. As from the strike we go, one miss and one in. That's for the 36ers player in Brad Hill. So it's 25, 18, seven, the difference, one and a half to go. Yes, and Adelaide oh, looks go. like they, they yes, they're definitely on an extended zone. They're stretching it out as far as they can. They must be conscious of the fact that Perth have very capable outside shooters. Almost the range was found there from Isaiah Victor. I'd like to buy him a pair of socks because they wouldn't stay up. The legs are just so, so skinny. Bang! Three. That is Peter Crawford, the first three of the night, 28-18, 10 the difference, double-figured lead to Perth. Signs are looking ominous for the home team, Pat Micken. Early they are, they're certainly taking them on and, um, uh, with aggression, but there's definitely a quality uh, difference between the two teams. And options too. Not just the one they yes. can go to, they can go to this bloke who doesn't miss too many. Red Hage who collapses with David Cooper, they're both all right. Davidson dribbles down for the 36ers, 30 seconds to go. 15 on the shot clock, 20 on the time clock. Shensha was going to try and hook, decided not to, went back to Davidson. Davidson has five seconds to think about it. Shensha hasn't got that much time. Shensha misses off the glass, 15 seconds left. Time for Perth, time for the run provided by Kendall. Kendall with five seconds left before quarter time. Kendall knows. He's looking for some screening. Kendall, one way or the other. Kendall, jump shot up, jump shot in. Too easy. Quarter time. What a quarter for the Perth Wildcats, who lead at quarter time. Grandstand basketball, 891 ABC Adelaide. ABC South Australia in 720, oh, ABC Perth, great. ABC Western Australia. A big corner by the visitors. The Wildcats 30 lead the Adelaide 36ers 18.